everyone, Joel Lance here. And today we're gonna be in Austin, Texas. Yes, Austin, Texas. They say keep Austin weird. I've never experienced it being that weird. Let me know of a story of Austin being weird down below. But today, guys, we're having some barbecue. My favorite, all-time favorite, Texas-style barbecue. We're gonna be at Pokey Joe's. Pokey Joe's, a barbecue restaurant which has been around for like 40-some years. It's been around for forever. I've always seen them in the area. There's multiple locations, but now I'm finally going to go because they have a giant food challenge. This challenge is basically a massive barbecue platter. It's actually the biggest Texas barbecue platter I've seen in Texas, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? This is called the Bigger Deal, the Even Bigger Deal. So they have their Bigger Deal, which is a big family pack. It's meant to feed, I don't know how many people, and this is the even bigger version. So this thing is like approximately 11 or 12 pounds from my understanding. It has a whole bunch of their like tur different meats. So turkey, burnt ends, I love burnt ends, brisket, ribs, chicken, sausage, the list goes on and there's a couple sides. I think I get to choose them though. Um, but anyway, then we're gonna have 60 minutes to complete the challenge. Um, and we get you the rest of the details here momentarily. So let's head on over. Sounds fun. Let's go eat the food. All right, here are the food. It looks absolutely delicious. Very, very large tray. So we have the full pound of turkey. We have the full pound of burnt ends. These are actually something that they're like bringing back or they're new. So I'm super excited. One of the first to try it out. I have the full thing of ribs, which is about two and a quarter pounds. I have a full half chicken. I have the uh, regular sausage, the beef sausage they have here. I also have their cheddar jalapeno sausage, which also sounds delicious. Pork base, beef base. I have the pound of the pulled pork. Then I have all the sides. This is insane. I have their uh, broccoli salad. I love broccoli salad. I have their coleslaw. I have their jalapeno cheddar cornbread casserole, which looks really, really delicious. And then I have their house-made potato salad. This is a very special potato salad. It looks really, really good. So guys, absolutely insane amount of food. I also have a variety of different pickles and onions and jalapenos from their pickle bar. They have a pickle bar. I have their sauces here as well. Um, we already got sauce on the pulled pork, but everything else we do not. So guys, I'm definitely excited. The even bigger, bigger deal platter. But yeah, guys, I love this. Uh, this actually, we add this up. This weighs upwards, because this is over two pounds of brisket. This is upwards like 11, 12, uh, 10, 11 pounds. So it's a lot of food, should be good. But yeah, we'll get started here just momentarily. I'm gonna start with um, probably the broccoli salad. I love broccoli salad, start with the vegetables, kids. That's the one thing you should do. Don't eat this much food, but definitely come by Pokey Joe's and try this out. So we start to save the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mm -mm. Oh, it's like Italian. I like that. Mm. Ooh, pepper. Why am I using the fork? I'm using my hands. I got the gloves for a reason. This is called health club. Lovely. Alright. Now I got some healthy vegetables in me. Let's go with this meat. I'm gonna start with the chicken. Got a huge half chicken. This is giant. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that weighs, but that is a big chicken. Oh my gosh, look at that juice is dripping out of that. Wow, that is a juicy chicken. I right, smoked chicken. I know they kind of uh, glaze it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Guys, I don't think I've ever had a juicier chicken. It's just running. Damn good. Mm. Very sweet. Hey everyone, welcome to this video, and in video you're definitely not going to want to miss if you like big food challenges and delicious, delicious food. Really, really great flavor on that. A good smoke, actually. So today I'm here in Austin, Texas, arguably the, well, one of the barbecue capitals of the world, having my absolute favorite all-time food, Texas-style barbecue. If you're not familiar with Texas-style barbecue is, it's essentially meats cooked of with a heavy smoke um, and salt and pepper as the seasoning so it's super basic but it is simplicity truly at its best it is absolutely delicious and oh I love it so much what's the secret to such a juicy chicken Do you have one 
Whatever they did, guys, they got it right. Try this turkey. Oh, yeah. Mm. Salt pepper, guys. I love, love Texas style barbecue. It's just simplicity at its best. Look how delicate that turkey is. It really is my favorite. So for this challenge, we did have the 60 minute time limit in order to get this bigger platter for free. And they said they hand base this with mayonnaise. I don't know what that would do, but make it taste great, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna try just a little bit of sauce. Got some original sauce happening over here. Mm. Guys, you know what that sauce tastes like? Texas. That's a good thing. Try their chipotle spicy sauce. Mm. You know what that one tastes like? Spicy Texas. And then the habanero. Hmm. Habanero peach tastes less like Texas, but still delicious. And we were definitely going to need that time. This platter is over 11 pounds, but I got to say, just the looks, the smells, I was so excited for this. And I have honestly seen the restaurants, you know, Pokey Joe's. I've seen them every time I've been in Austin. There's like some right on the highway. I've always seen them and said, I wonder what that's about. When then when I found out they had this giant food challenge that was undefeated, I said, hey, I have found my reasoning. I have found my excuse. We are heading over there ASAP. And here we are today. So staff were super accommodating. They were super friendly, um, very generous and just really made the experience. I needed some Texas barbecue in my life. I am so glad. Oh my gosh, this is honestly really, really good. And Central Texas is where you gotta come by. And this platter was true Texas. Brisket, ribs, and sausage. That's what Texas is known for, and we had all those, plus some lovely chicken, lovely turkey, and some lovely pork. And Pokey Joe's doing something right. Maybe for 43 years, is that right? And what, five locations or so? Crazy. All over Austin area. Let me know your favorite barbecue down below though. Mine is definitely beef, like brisket or burnt ends. I'm getting this light coming. That is not what I wanted to happen. That is bad. I might have to move over here in a second. Um, yeah, let's um, let's shift this. Yeah, let's just try to shift it directly over. Technical difficulties. In the meantime, I'm trying to pull pork. I did get to choose the sides and I basically went with their recommendations with the exception I wanted to add in the broccoli salad because I like the hell. That is some good, good, good. Tasting. Pulled pork. Alright, try it guys. I'm going to move this over. Look at that guys. Teamwork really does. Make the dream work. That's perfect. Thank you. All right, let's try to recenter this. Uh, we'll get it, everybody. One second. That works. I think. Good enough. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the help. Hey, we're back in action. It looks great again. Funny how that sun can make such a big difference. Where was I? Delicious barbecue, that's where. All right. Yeah, I uh, just tried that pulled pork. Pulled pork's nice. They have the uh, habanero peach on already. Very juicy. I also love a sweet tea, and I'm all about drinking sweet tea with my barbecue. And I have to say they had a really nice uh, sweet tea here as well. So just a side note, if you're stopping by, definitely grab yourself some tea. They also had a super impressive pickle bar. 
Um, I was able to get onions and then a variety of like dill pickles, jalapeno bread and butter pickles, which were awesome. And just having like the, well, it's free, but you know what I'm saying? Like having the all you can eat free pickle bar, not that anybody should be eating too, too, too many pickles, but to have this all you can eat free pickle bar there was such a nice addition. And I like just another value and incentive to come here. This is a chicken, chicken breast. Let me know if you're a team breast or team thighs down below. Mm. I'm getting a bit of a lemon pepper on there. When it came to the actual difficulty of this challenge, it is absolutely an expert level. Um, both with the volume, it is just absolutely huge. I mean, the bigger platter, like the menu item, is made to feed, I think, like six to eight people, and this one's even larger. So long story short, there is a lot, a lot of food. Um, the bigger platter does have more sides with it and bigger sides, um, but this one had a little bit more meat, but it was awesome, and I just love meat, so it worked. And they actually smoke exclusively the brisket and the pulled pork with oak and the rest with mesquite. But of that everybody, that's pretty much all the info I have for you right now. So let's tune it in and see what happens. I'm gonna break in this coleslaw a little bit, get a nice crunch, mm. nice crisp. I forgot about all these ribs. We got a full rack rib here, guys. St. Louis style. Mm. Ooh, nice flavoring on that. Very, very tasty rub. A little bit of sweetness in that. A lot of paprika. A little bit like cayenne. Delicious. I really like this rib spice. So much paprika. Great flavors. Thank you. You really got like that, you know, they call it like mud in Memphis. Mm. It's almost spicy. Can't have barbecue without sweet No, you can't have barbecue without sweet tea. <laughs> That's why I love Texas. We have barbecue and sweet tea. What more do you need in life, right? These ribs are so nice to cook. I'm literally just eating all the cartilage. I'm actually like super, 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 super impressed with those ribs. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. This end piece, guys, is so caramelized, mm. so tender, so rendered. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Man, I love barbecue. Pokey Joe's, you're doing it right. By the way, I think we are 15 minutes in or so, if I'm not mistaken. 15, 16, something like that. Loving these ribs. Honestly, 15, 28, guys, there you go. Might have to get some more of these ribs after. These are bomb diggy. Guys, that rib, wow. I love the paprika, like just that rub. Just sell this. You know what, you know what I'm taking home with me. <laughs> Definitely. Hey. Pork rib rub. Thank you. 
That's a Texas hospitality. Texas barbecue is my favorite. I literally think I can't. I've actually tried it, but I feel like I could eat endless Texas barbecue. Let me know what food you think you could eat endless food down below. I also have these pickles. Jalapeno bread and butter pickles. Mm. Oh my gosh. Sweet and heat. Woo, spicy. But good. Some uh, more traditional dills. Mm. And those are like a uh, locally dal or Texas made pickle. Their beef sausage and their jalapeno cheddar sausage. Nice flavor, jalapeno cheddar. Oh wow, that is rich. Really, really nice pork flavor in there. The jalapeno and the cheddar blends as you bite into it. Very good. Try the beef sausage. Oh yeah, nice pepper. Oh, what a great flavor. Oh. Really beefy note, almost reminds me of brisket. Very good. We're down to basically brisket and chill. I'm okay with that. And beef, burn in. Everybody said the brisket ribs, sausage was their favorite. The sausage was great. The ribs were great. I got so much brisket here. Look at this, guys. That is some moist. Thank you. Dude, that is some moist, tender, juicy brisket. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I know that's going to be good. Let's give it a let's give us a shot. You always gotta risk it for the brisket. I don't know what I'm risking, but I'll take it. Here we go, guys. Oh my god! Wow! Talk about fall apart. Woo! Super, super, super tender. That is cooked perfectly. Mm. I do love me some Texas style brisket. Uh, Joel, Joel Hansen, what's your favorite meat? Cow. Yeah, what my... kind of brisket? <laughs> yeah, is that you? No, but I love, I'm that upset, that upset. That was funny. So yeah. Yeah, that so, uh, so I made a yeah I made a post and somebody asked me what my favorite animal was, and I said cows. And they said what kind of cow? I said brisket. <laughs> it's true though. Cows are my favorite animal. They are very tasty. Guys, this brisket. <laughs> so I after I ate like all the sausage and everything. My palate was a little saltier. So I put a little salt in that brisket. Oh my gosh. This make me squeal. But guys, we got burnt ends next. I'm sorry guys, I keep showing you, but just like, look how awesome that is. That brisket is cooked perfectly. Oh. Oh my gosh. That bite, everybody. That bite was money. Oh, oh, sorry guys, I need a minute. Woo, this is what I love about Texas. It's been a full year since I had Texas barbecue. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. So good.
I don't understand how meat and barbecue can taste so delicious, but it just does. Let me know if you guys think this is better than football. The gentleman says it is. You're watching all. You say he says watching football all week. This was the coolest thing he saw. Now he's taking it back. Let me know what you guys think down below. This or football? I think 27 something in or something like that. This has been amazing. A lot of food. Whew. More of these jalapeno bread and butter pickles. Mm. That is amazing. Did you try these? Try this how yeah, bread and butter pickle? Uh. So good. Alright. Burn ends. Jalapeno cornbread casserole. Big thing of their house made potato salad. Huh. Burnheads, guys. These look like money. Oh my god. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm just screaming. I just realized I'm screaming in the restaurant. Guys. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. It's like candy. Oh my gosh. Oh, it really is. Guys. That burnt M. It is so soft and delicate, succulent, just squ like it just squishes between my fingers. Oh my gosh. What do you guys put on that? Magic. <laughs> That's good enough. Oh my gosh. Mm. It is so smoky, so sweet. I get like... Mm. I don't know if like a little bit like almost like a Asian, Asian spice vibe or like I don't know what I get or what I do. Delicious. Yes. Oh. I'm filling up though, guys. This is a lot of food. Thank you. Excuse me. Ooh. Compliments, Compliments to the chef. To the chef. <laughs> they said every they said everything was bigger in Texas. That was a Texas sized burp, guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, I feel a little better now. We got some room. I tell you, even though I was so full, I'd still eat these bird ends. Best thing ever. The brands? Yeah. No, they're, they're coming on the menu. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm just lucky enough to be one of the first ones to try. Yeah, I was like, why do you get this? They are. I'm sorry, guys. These are no, good. You're good. You're good. You're good. So, I would share if I could. <laughs> the thought is there. Money. That was like the first thing I Like they said, meat candy. Birthday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember your stalling video, you literally wanted the Burnett. I love Burnett. <laughs> and brisket.
Alright, I think we're about coming on 33 minutes in, something like that. Or coming on 33 and a half, I think. Last call, bird ends. It was unfortunate because these are freaking good. I could eat these all day, every day. I'm serious. So good. You want the leftovers? Leftovers, yeah, yeah. So this is cool, cornbread casserole, so of course it's you know, jalapeno, etc. But they scoop it, so it's a lot more like a softer baked kind of cornbread thingy thing. Less like actual bread. I really get the jalapeno taste on it. There's like this nice little crust on it too. Actually, there's a bit of kick to it. Very, like, creamy. Nice. One bird ham. Hold on, let, 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 let's get this drop. Just listen to this real quick. Oh, you maybe you can't tell. There's some weight to that. All right. House made famous potato salad. And I think they got like a, there's definitely a bit of a mustard in here. Ooh. Turkey. Definitely a bit of a mayonnaise. There's a really, um, quite a sharpness to that. Mmm. Actually, I really like this. It's not as thick as some, which I don't really like. I like, it's nice and loose. But very, very, very sh like sharp. Good acidity. The note I wanted to end on, a beautiful burn out. Man down. All right, ain't no scraps being here today, guys. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm about burn him. Oh, I'm so glad I saved that last bite. Woo! That is money. Mm. All right, everybody. And we are finished. Woo! Yeah. Thanks, everybody. 38, 45, 38 minutes, 45 seconds, the official time. Guys, oh my God, where do I start? Oh, yeah, well I finished, there you go. That's, I, that was absolutely amazing. I really, this sounds funny, but like I forgot how good Texas barbecue is and it can be, and Pokey Joe's is. This was so, so, so impressive. I absolutely loved the burnt ends. Those were to die for. Definitely grab those. Those are coming on the menu here. So, so, so good. That, excuse me, comments of the chef. That brisket was very, very delicious. I got all the moist, the fatty bits. So good. It was cooked perfectly. That's what I absolutely loved about that. Which, another thing which actually blew my mind, the ribs. I was not, ex like, I love ribs. Ribs are always good. But these were, like, really, really good. The chicken was really nice. That dark quarter was just, like, crazy, crazy, crazy juicy. I got no complaints. Everything was really nice. Um, I liked the uh, the cornbread as well. That was really, really nice addition. Just kind of creamy, moist, soft. Um, yeah. Oh, these pickles as well. The jalapeno bread and butter. To die for. But everybody, 
That's about that. So you get the mail for rich, pretty cool. We are the uh, one first one to complete this challenge. Guys. I'm just gonna take these gloves off. Sit here in bliss. That was awesome. Guys, that was awesome. Like I I don't I, I'm kind of at a loss for words. I probably just sound like a bro I don't just sound like a broken record at this point. Oh, I got a no. I'm really surprised, so I guess I'll keep talking, but no, guys, seriously, huge thanks to everybody here. The staff have been awesome. I am at their Hancock location, but there are four others around, and uh, it was just absolutely amazing. Loved it. I'm going to eat more of those pickles. Apparently, maybe I have dessert coming. Maybe. I didn't accept it yet, but I have the offers coming. So, uh, at that, everybody, if I get dessert, I'll include that. If not, till next time, of course, say happy, I'll be hungry, happy eating. Yeah, totally come to Pogi Joe's. This was absolutely fantastic. You don't need to eat all this yourself, though. But they do have the normal get or big deal, which you can order for your family and share it with your family. That's the way to do it. Share this barbecue. Texas barbecue is meant to be bought and shared. And get some of that sweet tea, because that was absolutely delicious. But until next time, everybody, I appreciate you. And that's it. Have a lovely day. I'm going to try their desserts real, real quick. Peach cobbler and banana pudding. So they actually made this with a roasted banana, which is super interesting. And then the peach gobbler, of course, house made roasted banana pudding. Oh, we definitely got some vanilla wafers in there. Mmm. Wow. I almost get like a, uh, you really get that real banana flavor. I almost get like a little bit of like a cream cheese bit. It's very good. Really nice texture. It's more like, um, I'm so chunky. Got a little bit of vanilla in there. And that vanilla wafer. Very good. Peach cobbler. Really nice kind of, uh, ooh, nice goopy, gushy looking. Mm. Nice and warm. A little more of like a bready cobbler going on. Nice and rich. Probably well some ice cream. Ooh, this is actually sweeter than the cobbler. I thought it'd be the other way around. Hard to go from the sweeter to that. But I had enough food. I never think it was awesome. But I don't need no more. Like I said, guys, thanks Spooky Joe's. Everything's bigger in Texas, including my gut. Woo! Delicious.